I'm Dave Ford. In this screencast I'm going to introduce the top six activity which is a resource that I've used in my teaching and I've released uh, to the educational community. Now to find this resource it is on my website which is www.a6training.co.uk and then on the left we've got resources and then PowerPoint and if we come down here there's a section of the top six activity. Now there's a completed example that you can click on and then there's the blank template which we will look at shortly. I'll show you the completed example first of all. So what we've got here is the way that this works is within a presentation and I often used to use this to start a, uh, a topic is I'd think of a list of top six things and here if I was doing a session on uh, CO2 emissions I found some data from 2002 and I've listed the top six countries for their CO2 emissions. Now that's what it looks like when I'm in the editing mode. When I run the slideshow, what we get is it looks like this. So I would split the class into two, two teams. I'd have the red team and the blue team and I'd ask them to identify uh, or shout out which country they think is in the top six. Now let's say they called out China. That's currently in second place. So when I click on the number two, it shows China. So I have to know what the answers are. And the way that I've done this is if they get China, they get five points because it's the second answer. And the way that this works is I can count one, two, three, four, five. I can just click to move the red team's score up. Then it'll be the blue team's turn. Let's say they called out Russia. That's third place. They get four points. They move up to four. If the next team called out India, uh, then they get three points and they move up accordingly. So that's the simple, very, very simple. I used to work very effectively when I used it quite often to introduce a topic. And for you to create a similar effect is very, very easy. So what we need to do, you go onto the website and you need to download the, the blank template and you need to go into the editing mode. So if it's in the slideshow mode, you'll need to press escape to come out uh, into the editing mode. And what you would do is you go to the second slide, which is the blank slide that you can see here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy and you can then copy this into your own presentation. Now I'm just going to put it into a blank presentation but you can put it into an existing presentation and just click on the left hand side wherever you want it to appear and just click on paste and it will then um, follow through with whatever colour schemes or other sort of things you have on your your slideshow. Now all we have to do then is enter whatever question we want. I'm going to do a cricketing example and I'm going to put who are the leading cricketers in terms of test centuries. Okay, so I just need to override the text, then here I need to just put in what the answers are. Now the top answer is Sachin Tendulkar, currently with 51. Then second place is Jack Callis. Then we've got Ricky Ponting. Raul Dravid Sonny Gavaskar and Brian Lara so that's me setting this up, now I need to know the answers, I often used to just print out that page for my own purposes now when I run the slideshow what happens is you, the answers aren't revealed, so the student shouted out Jack Callis there comes his answer, if they shouted out um, Roll Dravid, there's his answer there and again I've got the score ladders uh, to keep score between the two teams. So it's a very simple way of introducing a fun little activity at the beginning of a session uh, just to introduce the topic and all you need to do is have top six of something that's related to the topic. It doesn't work for everything but when it does work it can be very very good. And that's how we use the top six activity within PowerPoint.